If you're trying to decide between the Mum Cozy M6 and the Mum Cozy M9, then this video is for you. In this video, I am going to discuss the differences between the Mum Cozy M6 versus Mum Cozy M9 and help you decide which pump is going to be best for you. So let's take a look. To start with, and probably one of, it's really tricky to take these off sometimes, one of the most significant differences between the Mum Cozy Mobile Style M6 and the Mum Cozy Mobile Flow or the M9 is the fact that the M9 comes with a mobile app. Now, I'm not going to go through the details of the mobile app. I will link to the video for you. But basically, within the app, you can control your pump as well as it has two different cycles that you can run down or run through. One being a increase your milk supply or boost your milk and one is to help with engorgement so there are a few extra uh, cycles or modes in with the app with the m9 all right other than the app these two pumps look a little bit similar on the surface but they are actually quite different in design you can see by the flange you do have the double fit flange on both pumps but it is a lot more significant on the m9 you can see that it is quite a lot larger um, it's also a lot softer so that is definitely one of the main differences you can also see, I don't know how well you can see, the tunnel is slightly longer with the M9. However, it is still relatively short, so it is not really going to be beneficial. Neither of these pumps will be beneficial if you have elastic nipples. If you do, I highly recommend going with the Mum Cozy S12 Pro because you are going to get a lot longer of a tunnel. Okay. So let's have a look in terms of design. The M6 is slightly lighter. They're both, neither are heavy, neither of them are extremely lightweight, but the M6 is definitely the lighter of the two. And the reason being for that, let me start pulling this apart, is that there really is a lot less to it. It is a much simpler, sorry, making this look a lot harder, but it is hard when you've got your hands um, and then you've got the screen. So this is really basic in design, which is what we are used to with the Mum Cozy pumps. There are only one, two, three, four, five different elements to this. So it does make things like washing your pump easier, replacement parts, a lot simpler um, and then there is also a lot less um, points of error in terms of making sure you have a secure fit or parts breaking um, so it, overall I do much prefer this simpler design now let me show you why I prefer this in comparison so let's clip that back in pop that on Okay, so this is the M9. You can already see that this is going, this has quite a few extra bits and pieces to it. One of the most annoying parts for me is this diaphragm. So you have this soft silicon bit that attaches to your harder um, shell. But the part here that I do not like is you have a little opening that this needs to thread through. So it really just does give more opportunity for that to tear, for um, it 
yeah to overall break but again when we're reattaching this so you're not just having the one part of the diaphragm to slot in like you do let me bring that here like you do with the m6 so that simply just needs to be pushed right in with this diaphragm on the m9 you need to go through the whole attachment then it does it needs to get clipped on and then you also have to go the extra effort of making sure that this seal is pushed right in and firmly so you've got quite a few more spots for potential leaks with your suction milk going where it shouldn't be going um, so that's one part of it next you have your valve and again the valve is a two-part piece so you've got your duckbill valve here on your M6. This is your duckbill valve that simply just pushes on to the bottom there. Whereas this one, you have a little ridge that you then need to push through. You need to make sure that it is pulled up nice and tight and threaded through properly to make sure there's no leaks on either side. And then that needs to get attached to... The top of your container you need to line it all up and then lock it in so it is just quite a few more steps um, that I do think makes the M9 design that bit more complicated another little issue I have with it is on the um, collection cup you need to try pour this into a bottle um, it's not made very easy. There's a little bit of a lip here, but I do think this introduces more error for a spill opposed to, I'm really not making this easy for myself, opposed to the pouring spout that you can see on top of the M6 collection cup. So again, these are little things and I am probably being a little bit picky, but the overall design, I feel like the M9 has more parts that are going to wear and tear and more parts for potentially for it to get broken. Now, the one benefit I do really love, though, about this design is you get a cap that comes with your collection bottle. So if you don't want to be transferring it straight away, which is great if you're on the go, you can simply pop your cap on and store your milk accordingly and then transfer it later when you have more time. So this is great if you're on the go or at work. You don't have to necessarily deal with pouring your milk into your storage containers. You can leave it in this for when you're ready. Now, both pumps also have a solid base at the base of their collection cup, which is amazing because it means that you can have these sitting upright um, and it makes it a lot easier than, than the rounder ones that you get, say, with the M5. Now, in terms of functionality, so I've talked about the app. The app really does have a ton of benefits, but you can operate the M6 without... I'll move these aside and get one that's already done. You can operate the M6... Sorry, the M... The M nine without the app now if you're going to use both pumps without the app it's as simple as turning it on both of these are very very similar in how they work excluding the app you can see they both have their led screen you can see all the different data on them they both have four operation buttons. You do have this left and right button, but that is to do with your app. It doesn't really impact it when you are in manual mode. The one main difference, both have three different modes. So I'll use the M9 as an example. You've got your stimulation, you've got your expression, and you've got your mixed modes. However, with the M9, nine you have up to 15 different suction levels now this is actually quite a lot more than the m6 which only has nine now what this does is it gives you a lot more control over your suction settings and your pumping session 
So the M9 does have a lot of bonuses in that aspect. You'll also find because it's got the extra suction levels on your different modes such as your stimulation, you have any the ability to have a stronger stimulation uh, mode. Um, and there's, it, it's just a greater range when it comes to pumping on your stimulation mode. Okay, another difference between these two pumps is suction strength. Now it is really minimal. You have the M6 as a 295 millimeters per mercury and the M9 comes up to 300. So pretty minimal. But where it does have a bigger difference is in terms of the battery usage life. So the M6 runs for 180 minutes, whereas the M9 only runs for 150. Now that's a good six to seven pumping sessions, but you can have eight to nine with your M6. So again, something to consider. Both are really good but you will get an extra pumping session out of your M6. Both take an hour and a half to recharge. So overall, they are two very different pumps, even though they both look similar on the outside with the teardrop design. Once you start looking at the differences with the flanges and then the differences definitely with all the components, they are two very different pumps. Which one is best for you will come down to do you need to have an app to utilize your pump? Will you do you want the discretion of using a app so you're not having to manually touch your settings, say in the workplace? Um, you can do it discreetly off your mobile. If that's not really an issue for you then I probably would go with the M6 it is a lot simpler of a pump to use it still has most of the same features you get the benefit of the longer battery life even though the suction's not quite as strong and you don't have the levels of suction it definitely is more than adequate for most people um, really for me it comes down to will you need the app or not. So I hope this video helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I will do my very best to answer them. Thanks.